Hi guys, it's me Tracy, and today I'm going to show you how to transform yourself into a bloodthirsty vampire. What better time to channel a creature of the night than Halloween? Just follow these next steps and you'll be a full-fledged bloodsucker in no time. Let's get started. For this look, you will need your HT brush kit, an HT 12-piece eyeshadow palette, your lovesick medium brown eyebrow pencil, a lovesick light brown eyebrow pencil, Lovesix Hook Line and Sinker Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Lovesick Coal Eyeliner in Black. Black Heart Lip Pencil in Burgundy. The Broken Doll Kit. We'll be using the lip color from this. Matte Lip Cream. Lovesix Smooth Criminal Black Gel Liner. And Vampire Fangs. By the way, I'm wearing contacts to amp up the drama. They're not necessary for this look, but I like the intensity that they add. If you wear contacts, make sure to put them in before starting your makeup. I've already prepped my face with foundation, concealer, and powder. Go for the pale look and try a shade or two lighter than your regular color. Darken your brows using your brown eyebrow pencil. Add some brow powder over it if you want. I use some powder from my own kit. Contour the hollows of your cheeks using the gray eyeshadow in your 12-piece palette. Cover your lids with a mauve shade and continue underneath your eyes. Use the black shadow at the edges of your eyes for depth. Layer and blend brown and black shadow underneath your eyes. You're starting to look bruised and sleep deprived, and creepier by the minute. the black lovesick hook line and sinker eyeliner and line your eyes with a thin cat eye. Continue on down the inner corners of your eyes and create a point, extending underneath your eyes to complete the line. Line your waterline with your Blackheart Burgundy Lip Pencil and Black Coal Eyeliner. You can tight line your top lid too if you want. The goal is to darken your eyes, but that little hint of red from the burgundy pencil gives you a sickly, more sinister look. Curl your eyelashes. Grab your lovesick, thanks for the lift, black mascara and coat your top and bottom lashes. Add some falsies if you like. This isn't necessary for the look, so skip them if you want to keep the sex appeal to a minimum, but I want to look like a sultry vampire queen, so I'm adding some long winged lashes to mine. Line your lips with your light brown pencil and blend with your finger. You don't want any harsh lines. Using light brown or nude shades will keep you looking pale and help the blood you add later stand out. By the way, if your lips are naturally pink, you can cover them in foundation or concealer before applying lip liner to give you more of a corpse effect. 
Add a coat of clear or very lightly tinted gloss over your lips. I'm using a little bit of the lip color from the Hot Topic Broken Doll Kit for this. You can also use a tiny bit of Vaseline in a pinch if you don't have any gloss on hand. Now for the fun part. It's time to add your blood. Using the matte lip creams in two shades of red, begin to paint onto the inside of your lips and drag down the sides. You can add some onto your top lip too. Don't be afraid to make it messy. A vampire feeding session isn't for the faint of heart. You can use your finger to smear it further if you want. Make drip shapes by getting the lip wand full of lip cream and spinning it against your skin to get the maximum amount of product transferred onto that spot. There's no right or wrong, so use as much or as little as you like. I like these lip colors for this because they do a great job at looking like blood, but they dry, so you won't be sticky all night. By mixing the brighter and darker red shades, you create depth and mimic fresh and dried blood. Yum. What's a vampire without fangs? As Mother Monster says, Show me your teeth. If you like how you look, you're good to go. But if you wanna add one more step, stick with me. It's worth the extra couple minutes. We're gonna add some veins around the eyes. Start by dipping a thin eyeliner brush in the gray, brown, and silver shadows of your 12-piece kit. Stroke veins in rigid and squiggly patterns down from underneath your eyes, over where you blended the shadow earlier. Continue down to the middle of your cheeks. Go over the lines lightly with thin strokes of black gel liner. You can do a few tests on your hand to practice the light touch. Now you look like a rabid vamp on a feeding frenzy. All those mortals better watch out. When you look this good, Halloween can't possibly suck. But you can. Hope you have a wicked Halloween. Bye.